Today I'm going to show you how to change the mirror glass on your Seat Ibiza 6J. On the inboard bottom corner, gently push the mirror in. Pushing the mirror in in that corner brings it out in this top outer corner. Now with your trim removal tool, fit the curved end behind the top corner of the mirror. Gently lever it outwards until it snaps off. It feels a bit brutal, but that's how it's done. And there's the mirror with, the pla with its plastic backing. And what you were doing was putting your removal tool behind that and pulling that out. Here's your electrical connections for your heater. Press down where the electrical connection connects to the heater itself and gently waggle and pull the terminal off. Same on the other one. The reason for doing that is that if you simply pull on the terminals, you could rip that terminal straight out of the uh, heater board. The back side of the mirror has eight tags around the periphery that hold the mirror to the motor. And on an original equipment mirror, you'll find these symbols here. That one is the manufacturer. That one is see it. You should also see a label with a part number in that format. If you want to test a mirror heater to make sure that it's working properly, connect your ohmmeter to the terminals of the heater or on a, on a range read that will read at least 20 ohms. And you should be reading something in the region of five to eight ohms, depending on exactly which model of car you're measuring. Personally, I think every uh, automotive DIYer should have a, a multimeter of some sort. I'll put some links in the description to some meters. To put the glass back in place, reconnect the heater terminals, make sure that they're properly home. Polarity doesn't matter, so it doesn't matter which wire goes to which terminal. This is a guide leg, goes inside this clip here. So looking from above, position the guide leg first, then bring the mirror in squarely, just making sure that it sits squarely onto the motor platform. And then in the middle, push down to click it into place. Push it quite firmly and then move the mirror in all directions, just to make sure that it is properly clipped on because if any of the clips haven't taken when you do that it'll probably fall back out if you got value out of this video please go down next to the title give the video a like leave any comments you've got and i'll see you next time